Members of the Access Group, who have mobility scooters, have identified places in Caterham and Oxted where access for them could be significantly improved. We are going to show some examples. I've had my mobility scooter about five to six years. I've lived in Caterham all the while and I still find it very hard to get around. We have to back back, find a drive with a drop down curb. Also you've got to find that there's one opposite that you can go back up again. Footpaths like this can provide an excellent shortcut from one road to another. But not on the footpath from Chaldron Road to Park Road, because a scooter cannot get through the barriers at the other end. These barriers were left there when the new fencing barrier was installed on the pavement. Olive has a valiant try, but she fails and has to turn round and go all the way back to find another route. No problem here, as she has a clear and easy run through the park. Here she gets temporarily stuck because of the slope of the pavement towards the drop down curb. You know what the traffic driving is like. Traffic coming up Churchill, out of Stansted Road, down Churchill. Now the pavement by St Lawrence's. I don't expect you to, we hadn't noticed it until, as I say, when you're disabled, you notice it. In fact, my husband was on his knees measuring it. This scooter gives me two inches either side to get through. And of course, the wall there makes a tunnel. With the, the, the pressure that the lorry's bringing up and the wall, and I'm trying to go against it. Further down Church Hill, on the other side, there's a very good pathway. But getting across to it is a real problem. The crossing by Church Warwick across the way. Yes. Now, no way can I reach the button to press in the middle. And do it from the pavement uh -huh. across halfway. And the way they've got the barrier around, and there's always people there, no way can I reach to reach them. They haven't thought of it. I mean, it's like that crossing there. I have to come up to press the button, then I've got to reverse yeah. to get straight to go down, because yeah. the button is, is not where the curb drop down curb is. A lot of times I get quite worried when crossing the road. Um, I can't, if I come out from behind parked cars, on a scooter you are a lot lower and the cars can't see you. And you have to actually put quite a bit of distance into the road before you can see past, particularly a lot of these 4x4s or, or vans or whatever. It's difficult coming out from behind parked cars. For some reason, the drop curb opposite faces towards the main road. The problem I have with crossing um, here is um, the only post office we have in town is in Station Road West and there are no dropped curbs on this side of the road so you have to come out here where the road is 
it goes flat into the road and cross diagonally across the road on a very um, a blind bend. You can't see the traffic coming this way and you can't see past the parked cars. So it is quite dangerous. Access to the park is fairly easy. Unfortunately, the placing of the wooden barriers is such that you can't get out again. And the road surface like back there station road west there was that big drain cover so you having then got into the road you then have to be aware of the surface of the road because uh, sometimes there might be a pothole or a drain cover so you can't assume that you can just go straight across the road you then have to get into the road assess the surface of the road before crossing as you can see there is a drop curb at the garage. Julie crosses, but has to travel along the busy road to get to the drop curb on the other side. There is a lengthy drop curb on the road outside the community hall, but none on the other side. Much has been done to assist access for scooters, but as we have shown, there are places where more could be done. Members of the Tandridge Access Group would welcome consultation about improvements which could be made.